We are a third world country, we are a developing country. We are a country in agony at the moment. As you know, we are recovering from a virulent volcanic experience. And it is important that I remain here to help the country rebuild and to help our people to get on with life. You know, it's exciting. It is home. My name is Rose Willock and on Montserrat, we are getting ready for St. Patrick's Week activities. St. Patrick's Day, as we all know, is Thursday, March 17 for 2005. And Montserrat has a strong Irish tradition, Irish history. On St. Patrick's Day, March 17, 1768, when the band of renegade slaves, as you want to call them that, we call them freedom fighters, made that attempt to gain their freedom, they were overcome and many of them were taken to court and many of them were hanged. But the people of Montserrat that are of primarily African ethnic background, we tend to observe that as one of the first efforts of our slave ancestors to gain their freedom. There is an Irish connection related to the settlement of the island by Irish people, whether they were political prisoners sent out by Cromwell or persons seeking religious asylum um, coming from uh, North America or from nearby St. Kitts. So that, that's a reality. There, there is an Irish connection related to the history. And that can be elaborated into the religious connection too. The Roman Catholic Church came to Montserrat, not via the French as it would have done in Dominica and maybe St. Lucia, but through the fact that there were Irish people here. Uh, so the, the Roman Catholic people are legitimately um, celebrating a day uh, on, on their religious calendar. And we came in now uh, in the 20th century with this new idea of dedicating it to, to heroes and, and to Montserratians who, who have done great and useful service to the country. 